you're hired to come up with something that has not been done before. How lucky are we to be in a situation to do that? That's our industry, that's our, that's our craft. There's definitely one thing that runs through everything we do, which is that how small things make larger things. For instance, this here is an octahedra, which means it's a shape that has eight sides. So it has eight ways that it can grow. Now, how is that interesting? Well, it's interesting to us because you can develop structures that are nonlinear. They react to forces in a way that's it's unexpected. What happens when you put, say, a few dozen together? Or what happens when you put a few thousand together? And what can these things start to be? Uh, this here was an idea for a house. The training of an architect is so unusual. I think it would blow people away to walk into any architecture school because it's got one foot in the 21st century and one foot literally in the 18th century, like where we are drawing with our hands. Great thing about sketching is that it marks a moment of beginning. And the beginnings of things are so special. Like when a relationship with somebody started, or when, you know, when a great uh, moment in the project where, where the idea really came through. Little disclaimer, like, no one looks into this book. Uh, you know, it's a mess, and it's not meant for, uh, for showtime. I mean, it's a nice thing about a sketchbook. You, you can really just kind of put all your, kind of like all your thoughts in there. You walk around New York City, you walk around, say, Midtown, and there are some amazing buildings, incredible structures. Half of those structures were drawn and built with road trains. Like, the idea that that kind of expression of civilization was made with such a simple tool, clearly we're not done with that yet. 